Hi everyone. Today we're going to be kicking off our 25-day Esri Leaflet Add to Calendar tutorial series by creating our first interactive website map. And also, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on the series. Let's dive in. Before we get to the code, let's talk a little bit about Esri Leaflet. Esri Leaflet is a lightweight, easy-to-use library that extends Leaflet, one of the most popular open-source JavaScript libraries, for building interactive maps. Now, Esri Leaflet allows you to tap into a rich set of location services that are offered by Esri, allowing you to perform operations such as locating addresses, also known as geocoding, routing, finding local demographic data for an area, and more. Now, let's get to the code. We'll start by setting up our project. I'll be using Visual Studio Code, but feel free to use the IDE of your choice. I'll start by creating a simple HTML file, creating and linking a CSS file for styling, and a JavaScript file where I'll write the map logic. Now in the HTML file, I'll create a div element with an ID value of map. This is where the map will be displayed. Now I'll need to include leaflet and Esri leaflet. I can easily do this using CDN links. I'll first add the leaflet CSS and JavaScript libraries, followed by the Esri leaflet and Esri leaflet vector plugins to access Esri's base map option. I'll next work on the CSS styling. I'm going to have the map take up the entire browser window, so I'll make sure the body of the page has no margins or padding. Then I'll position my map in a fixed or absolute way by having it extend from the very top to bottom and giving it a width of 100%. Now I'll move on to the JavaScript file. I'll write code to initialize a leaflet map using the ID value to place it in my HTML div. To center the map on a specific location, I'll use the setView method with the latitude and longitude of my choosing, along with a zoom level that's between 0 and 18, where 0 is entirely zoomed out and then 18 is all the way zoomed in. Now, to add an Esri base map, I'll need to use some form of authentication. This can be either an API key or an OAuth access token. I'm going to go with an API key here. If you're unsure of how to create an Esri API key, check out my previous video for my last year's advent calendar in the video description below. Okay, now I can use the Esri leaflet vector base map layer plugin with the base map of my choosing. I'll go with ArcGIS community and set my API key. Finally, I'll add it to my map, open it up in the browser, and there we have it. Our first map using Esri leaflet. Now, here's an exciting part for you all. Each day I'll be giving you a challenge, and today it is to take what you've learned and add a bit of customization to your map. Try changing the base map to something else from Esri's collection. The one I use today is just one of over 25 options. Don't forget, you can refer to the documentation by Leaflet and Esri Leaflet to help you with this challenge. Once you finish, share your creations in the comments below. In my next video, I'll explore how to create custom base maps allowing you to easily customize and style the way your map looks. Thanks for watching and happy coding.